the next step of our tutorial today is to create an enterprise data warehouse from our staging environment and we are going to design a star schema we're going to do that all using ssis and sql server the first thing we want to do is to create our dimension tables i have written down the queries to create the table so I'll just go ahead and execute if you want to learn how to create tables in in sql server please feel free to watch my videos that explain very much in detail how to create tables in sql server so i'll just go ahead and execute all of these commands together command completed successfully so if we refresh our covid19 database and click on this drop down arrow you can see that all of the tables have been created except for the year week table which we already have that data so we are going to move it from a csv file location into sql server straight up so i'll just go into visual studio stop the plugin and create a new package remember package contains all of our tags that we move our record into so because of we created this one for the staging etl i need to rename this one and include the n right so we need to create another package to move our year week data from a csv location into our staging environment so i'll right click on it and click on new package and rename it to year week yes to all so first thing i need to do is to click on the tax that would allow me to extract transform and load so i'll move the data flow tax onto my canvas and within the data flow that's where i perform etl processes so this time around i'm just gonna go to flat file source because my year week file is a csv so i'll double click on this to configure it and again i need to create a connection to my flat file location so i'll click on new and i'm I'm okay with the name here. I don't want to give it a description. So I'll continue to browse to my file location and select CSV from the file types here. And I have my year week calendar file. So I'll open and make sure that the format is delimited, which is fine by me. The columns looks great advanced here i can set the data types as well for my flat file records here week id as an integer so it's dt1 i4 dt i4 there and this one is also an integer and the year is also an integer so I'll set all of these data types and preview it all right so i'll click on ok and ok again all right i'm not going to apply any transformation to this data source so i'll just click on the destination it's my sql server open the year year week and i'll move the precedence to move on to the destination tax double click on this because i did not create any table in sql server for year week i'll create it on the fly but remember i need to connect to the connection that i already created for the database which is covid19 so i'll choose that one and click on ok because i've already created it i don't need to recreate it again for the connection manager and 
this is a table that I'm loading so I will leave this selection as it is remember you have other options from the drop down arrow alright so within here I do not have any gear week table created so I'll click on new and it picks automatically the columns from the data source I'm just going to rename it to add the schema to do it and that's it for this one okay so select on year week and go to the mapping and make sure that the input columns matches the destination column i'll click on okay and i have an error here what does it say let's just overrun it and see it's gone false alarm <laughs> all right so from the control flow page i'll right click on it and execute once more if you want to execute you can also click on the package and execute the package and that was done in the in a blink of an eye so if we go to sql server and select our year week table It's been loaded. Okay. So now what is left is for us to load our enterprise data warehouse, um, dimension, the rest of our dimension tables, and also our fact table. So guys, we have a staging table in our database which contains these records and we want to derive our dimension tables from this bulk staging table and as I already showed you in the source to target mapping document from the beginning feel free to go back to the beginning of this video to look at the source to target mapping document so we are going to create the dem region we already loaded the dem week table so we are good with that we are also going to load them patient details so what we're going to do is just select these columns from the staging table and load that into our edw dimension tables so we're going to write a query like select um this field and this field from here and as you can see it's giving us all of the over 1 million records from that table but what we need is the distinct region records okay so what we have to do is to change this script to select the distinct region and region code from the table and we just have four records in there so all of the others are duplicate and it's fine to have duplicates if it's in the fact table but for dimension tables you want to make sure that it always and always i mean always contain distinct records some companies may be against the fact that you will be using distinct in your queries. If that is the case for you, you may want to revise your code and use um, functions like group by. So if you do not want to use distinct function, you can use group by the columns and it gives you the same result set there we go so whichever you want it's it's fine but i do not have any restrictions <laughs> on me so i'm going to use the things because i think it's shorter so back into visual studio i'm gonna once again put my control flow tags here 
double click on that D and select my source this time my source is an already source because the data is already in my SQL server okay so double click on that choose my connection manager okay it's a table and i want to use sql query i'm going i can either paste my query here or i can build it from scratch um on our next package i'm going to show you how you can use this build query to arrange your query with little or no modifications we have query okay so select distinct these two columns from staging we can preview it and these are the records from our staging that we are selected close and check the column mapping to make sure that everything is okay it looks good to me i'm not gonna perform any cleaning to it so i need to select my destination and where is it going to it's still going into sql server so I'll select OLEDB destination this time and set the precedence. Double click on that. Remember, we already created our tables here. So region is going into this table. We have this one is an auto incrementing. Um, identity field so we do not need to select it because it will populate by itself we don't need to enter any values in there but these two curve region will be the same as region code and region name will be the same as break name so let's make sure that the mapping is right but before we do that let's select our region table from here there and most of the time I keep these settings as they are. Um, I want the table to be logged when I'm, I'm loading data into it. I wanted to check constraints if I have any on those tables. Okay, so because the names are different, it couldn't detect them automatically. This is the auto incrementing field. We don't need to set mapping for this, but region code is the same as for region and region is region name. I'll click on OK and we'll go to our control flow and we will execute this command. That was fast, guys. Let's just select um, the region. Perfect. Okay, so now we are going to populate them patient let's see if we have any records in there yeah, patient. 